and welcome to episode 18 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. Thanks to FIFA, we've been able to continue the save. The game is fine, the mods are fine, here is the culprit. So when you load up Frosty, it'll dump a load of files into your FIFA 20 directory, wherever you save the game up. For me, it's on the D drive. Now, I had an alpha build of Frosty, so it was just dumping loads of files from that alpha build, and something within this folder reacted terribly to the new FIFA update. So if you have any problems like this, delete this folder. Frosty will then rebuild the folder with all the new files and not any of the harmful old ones, and you'll be good to go. First game of the episode, we have Switch. Wyndon Town against AFC Wimbledon and the Perry NG meetup is tomorrow and they're playing Swindon Town so uh, this is a bit weird but when you're watching it it'll have already happened so uh, the picture should be already on the internet of me with Perry NG bit crazy Perry Perry Young oh Perry Perry Young Eric yes Eric Melville showing a bit of strength that's what we like Stiopovic? I mean, get up, son. I'm so glad that Demezio Moscow stayed at Wimbledon. It was one of the few players that I was ordered to sell, but didn't really want to sell. No one came in for him in the summer. Just great. I think we need to be a bit more calm with the ball. The more they have it, the more I'll want to rush things when I eventually win the ball. Short passes, short passes. Saki Savan is onside. Get into the box now. Oh, Stiopovic! Well, I mean, they didn't mark Stiopovic. Huge chance. Bad finish. Django Swinkles. Is he quick enough? Anderson is rapid. Oh, man. Oh, Swinkles has won it back. Django Swinkles all the way across. Oh, that's cheeky. That's actually quite disgusting. I feel a bit dirty, but it's fine. 30 seconds, Bondarchuk. Try and make one more attack, Stiopovic. Great take. Stiopovic, why not? And I think that'll be the end of the half. Wimbledon 1, Swindon Town 0. Played by Dalibor Bekic. Bit more aggressive. That's what we like to see. Bondarchuk, step over. Oh, I mean, he's just been hit in the face. Oh, Stiopovic. <laughs> Wow, that would have been some goal. Time to do something with it. Oh, man. Stiopovic is on another level. <laughs> right, Chato. It's... A corner kick, thank you very much. That was excellent by Bright Chateau. Time to get some subs on. Blocked by Calamo Flannery. And over the bar. Received a touch on the way through. I don't know if it was from a defender or the goalkeeper. Bright Chateau clears. More than clears. Nearly sets up Eric Melville. Stand him up, you'll be fine. That's not for Stiopovic. Oh, that Swindon Town defence gets confused when the slightest thing happens to them. Oh, the ball's coming towards us. Run, Kelamo Flannery. Yes. Oh. Oh. Urging their players forward, but this press is pretty good from uh, Stiopovic and Melville. Oh, Bright Chateau's got dispossessed, though. Big chance for Swindon. Ball in is too close to the goalkeeper. Bodies throw out too late. Calamo Flannery's under pressure. And that's the thing, this Swindon attack has been really good. And he's putting us under pressure like that. Dalibor Bekic. Oh, the ball. No, that's it. Swindon Town, they've equalised. We made our own problems there. Shocking play by AFC Wimbledon. Them last 20 minutes were really poor from Wimbledon. Passes going astray, really easy, simple passes. And all these guys are like super inexperienced, but that, that was not good enough. Not happy with the performance, but looking at the table, we've actually pulled away from Salford City and must have lost their last game. Start of the transfer window, Richard Baxter moves to Derry City. Pretty sure we've managed to navigate the very busy winter fixtures without registering a loss, which is very impressive. AFC Wimbledon against Stevenage. Top goal scorer in the lead! Django Swinkles. Oh, I don't know about that one, Chief. Just not strong enough, boys. Disappointing. Oh, Enzo body flying. Here's Eric Melville. That's fine. Eric Melville's still going. Eric... Oh, Pretty one-dimensional, that attack, but it worked, didn't it? Right, Chato turning into an inverted wing back here. Centre mid. Yes, Eric Melville. Ball in. A con oh, he's gonna drop to Bright Chateau, head up. Yeah, Eric Melville, no problem. Bright Chateau again. What a player this Bright Chateau is. Ooh. Lovely tackle by the Oconco press. Oh, there it is. There it is. Stiapovic with the finish. Wonderful, wonderful from Wimbledon. You can't get any better. 
better. Sviapovic with a top bins effort. Kalamo Flannery, run! Boris Sviapovic has simply crushed the top goal scorer's table. Right, Chato doesn't think he's a wing back. Head up. Oh dear boys! What a weak goal to concede! Oh, don't say that's Ryan Twine. Even more problems with Ryan Twine! Everything's there for Ryan Twine to have a really good career at Wimbledon, and he's just ruining that. Try and play that ball all the way across to O'Flannery. Well, it was for Adam Nichols at the start, but O'Flannery. Callum O'Flannery is an absolute machine! Yes! A Conquo! Yes! Callum O'Flannery! What a player! R is for run. Run. Running up and down that wing all 90 minutes and he still can produce something. In the dying moments, Wimbledon 2, Stevenage 1. Don't judge a book by its cover. I usually find out the good and the bad really quickly, but it is changing my perspective. AFC Wimbledon against Mansfield Town. Statistically, he might not be the fastest player ever in YSL, but honestly, he is the fastest player ever in YSL. He just is. He's already got like 92 sprint speed. Damn! I wonder what he's gonna be like when his technicals actually catch up. That's gonna be damn scary. Here he goes, Calamo Flannery. Oh dear. Good save, Enzo Bardi! Big left hand, that'll be a corner kick to Mansfield. Gotta love it. A conquo, feed O'Flannery. Oh, 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 see you in a bit! Oh, oh! Oh, I don't know about that one, Bright Chateau. Big save, nope, not happening. There's a mistake by our favourite man at left back. It's like a downward spiral. I'm playing bad, therefore it's annoying me. And being annoyed makes me play even worse, which annoys me. And that makes me play even worse. I shouldn't be so harsh on myself, because I think even without that mistake, they probably would have found the way through. They're just a better team. And we've had one chance all game. In this shape, we are not good enough to get promoted to League One. Bad things will happen. No shots on target. 32% possession. We're now in eighth. We dropped out of the playoff places, but perfect timing. We're away against Salford. I was trying to find the big Samoan that we added, and uh, apparently he's got seriously injured. So that is a break for us. A win leapfrogs us above Salford into the playoff spots. Callum O'Flannery's gone. Like, there is no point of trying to keep up with him. Whoa. I think the Christmas turkeys just laid really heavy on my players because these games that we've played this episode have not been the most exhilarating. A conquo? Well, O'Flannery's there. Yep. You've got to finish. He's finished it so well. Can't get any better. That is some accurate, deadly finishing. Bring a bit of life into this, boys. Come on. Stiapovic is taking it away. And what a chance to break on them. Melville just needs to beat that player for pace. And he's absolutely done that. Eric Melville, one on one. Got a finish. And he does. That's more like it. All right, Ryan Twine on for the last few minutes. Juwon was really central there. Oh, dear. Oh my goodness, lads. I take Dalbor Bekic off for five minutes. It's a shambles without the captain. Don't you dare concede again or else there will be words. Megs balling above Stiapovic. What a shame. Eric Melville is onside, I think. Yep, because that guy was on the floor. Eric Melville stayed onside as like Salt somehow doesn't fall over. A Conquo. Can't turn. Man, just like we want Callum O'Flannery with technicals, we want a Conquo with agility. Take as much time as possible, Enzo Bardi. He shaved like two minutes off that additional time. Yes! We hung on in the end. Ten shots, eight on target. Enzo Bardi, you are the man. Wonderful sight in our final match. Firstly, Holland is back against his former team. 59 overall. And this is the closest that I've seen the AI play to a 4-2-4. Looking forward to this. Cambridge United against AFC Wimbledon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top goal scoring in the league. Let's go. Grabbing it from kickoff is always a good start. Go on, Stiapovic. Yes, mate. Oh, yes! One minute 18 on the clock as that ball went in.
into the net. Boris Stiapovich. Cambridge United kicked off in this game. That's just crazy. I don't know how quick we've scored in the past. That's going to be well up there. In the Macclesfield series, all the players that I sold got like these crazy potentials. So they'd, they'd grow with us. But honestly, with the way that first season went... Like, do they even deserve it? That's fine, Calamo Flannery, take it away. See you later. <laughs> I mean, you just can't get bored of that kind of pace. Look at this, he set this all up himself. Eric Melville, wow. Okay, Winks has just gone to Manchester United on this save. Good save, Enzo Bordy. That is a great way to end the episode off, an episode that might have brought us results, but not performances. That was the complete package right there. Solid in defence, potent in attack, and entertaining for those away fans. As if Mansfield have dropped all the way down there. Very topsy-turvy this season. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time. Yeah.